Hey guys, get ready with me for an acro and tumbling competition. Let's just get straight into the video. So first things first, I have to do my sister's hair. She's eating a Chipotle burrito, which I already ate half of. I'm gonna do her hair, and then after that, we're gonna get started on me. All right, Karen, show your hair. All done, two French braids, two, a bun. Also have glitter hairspray and pink glitter gel. Happy with it? Yeah. Okay. Purr! All right, so now it's time for my hair and I think I might do either a side part and then do braids to a bun or do basically what I just did to Kiernan. I think I might do what I did to Kiernan. So I just sped this up for you guys because I figured it would be really, really long for you guys to try and watch this in normal speed. So this is just me braiding and putting my hair up and just continue to watch. All right, so now I've mostly finished my hair. All I have to do is cut out the ribbon and just like add all the fun stuff. Currently we have the Ares Tour movie as our background, get ready with me. <laughs> Comment what your favorite thing is to get ready to. Movie, songs, anything. Give me some recommendations because I kind of want to spice it up a little. I'm gonna spray my glitter hairspray and then we're gonna put my ribbon in. I'm gonna go outside and I'm gonna do it. Can you see the glitter? Now we're going to put the ribbon in cutesy like bows and ribbon in my hair it's so cute and then once I tie the ribbon and I always put like one of these little clear elastics over it so that it all stays and the ribbon won't just fall out mid competition I'm gonna have you right here but I have my mirror right here so this is probably where I'll be looking to do all of my makeup first I go with my elf power grip primer this makes my makeup <laughs> This makes my makeup last throughout the whole entire competition and this is where we're like sweating, we're tumbling, we're stunting, we're going full out, like everything and it stays the whole entire time and does not budge. Next I go in with my e.l.f. Halo Glow in the shade 05. Um, I'm very pale, if you couldn't tell. And this is literally my one with this and this is very like enough coverage for me because I feel like I don't like full coverage stuff. I just don't want to have like a full beat on when I'm trying to like tumble and focus on stunting and stuff. Next I go in with the Maybelline Fit Me concealer in the shade 010 Fair Pale. Love this concealer. I used to be a tried and true elf hydrating camo concealer girl, but after I found this, I will not be going back because I love this stuff. I unpopular opinion i mean i know you're supposed to wet your beauty blenders but i never wet mine because i feel like it makes my makeup like separate and looks weird i don't know if that's just because of the makeup that i'm using or what but i've just never liked it i always love how a dry beauty blender looks i'm in with the elf halo glow contour but i just use it as bronzer because i don't really contour my face definitely for more if you want more makeup vibes rather than like a natural glowing from within look I use the e.l.f. Ultimate Blending Brush, and this always stirs me right, so I will not stray. I get all my makeup from Target, so if you're re trying to recreate this, which I don't know who would, but if you're trying to recreate it, then all the, all the products are pretty cheap. And I don't have anything specific, I kind of just put it where I feel like I want to have a good bronzing glow, you know? And I feel like it always turns out pretty good. On my competition days, I use this bright pink blush. It's like hot pink. It's from e.l.f. It's e.l.f. Putty Blush in the shade Bora Bora. I love it. It's so bright and so pink and I just love the Barbie vibes. I still go in on the same brush with this and just put it everywhere because you can never have enough blush. I am a blushaholic. And then for highlighter, I use this cream highlighter. It's e.l.f. Halo Glow. Never would have guessed. <laughs> one is in the shade champagne and i like to go in with like the butt end of the beauty blender to blend all of this out and then for powder i use the maybelline fit me in the shade 100 translucent <laughs> lol and i just use the powder puff that comes with it i really want to get one of those like triangle powder puffs i just have not gone around to it but this stuff do you see that look how shiny that is completely matte and i am just obsessed with this stuff Look at that. All of the places that I want it mattified, it's matte. <gasps> Tolerate it! 
Tolerate It is one of the most underrated songs. I just love Folklore and Evermore. Like I'm such a Folklore and Evermore girl. And then I use the Physician's Formula um, Butter, the Butter Highlighter and Pearl. This smells like so good. And this has lasted me so long. I love the Pearl one because it doesn't give me weird like, you know what? Sometimes when you use a highlighter too dark and you turn your face back like this, it's like a weird dark. Hello. Okay, moving on to brows. We are gonna use the e.l.f. brow glue. It keeps my brows matted down all day long. I don't fill in my eyebrows. I just use the clear one and I like fluffy brows. So I just kind of fluff mine up and they go where they want to go. Here we go. Boom, eyebrows done, simple as that. Now for my eyes, I don't have like a specific brush or anything that I use. I just have like this little thing and I use my highlighter and I just go in with that on my lid and just make it super duper shiny. Boom, amazing. Cause I already went in with bronzer my liquid bronzer all over my eyes, so I already have that on. Where was I? Too much space or time. Anyways, um, next go in with this NYX Vivid Brights liquid eyeliner and it is hot freaking pink. Look at that. Boom. It's giving Barbie. And then I just do a wing usually and I don't have any sort of technique. I just go for it and it usually turns out good. Me with my 11 year old self doing full beats. It's really helping 16 year old me do her competition makeup with hot pink eyeliner and not mess up. Ooh, per reputation. I love reputation. Reputation is a non skit album. But then I go in with the light pink shade, if you can tell the difference. Who's the difference? And I go in on my inner corner on my lower lash line. I just think it looks so fun when I do it like this. So I will use the telescopic carbon black just cause I like having my eyelashes like super defined. So that's what we will be doing. I am getting a new, I'm going to get a Tweezerman eyelash curler soon because this Revlon one is just not cutting it for me anymore. While I let my first coat of mascara dry, we're going to go in on my lips. And for lip gloss, I just use this. I, it is the CoverGirl Clean and Fresh Yummy Gloss. It just blends in with my lips almost. Now we're gonna go in with my second coat of mascara. So anyways, hair and makeup is all done. Now we're gonna go put on my uniform and I will be right back. Okay, so here is what my uniform top looks like. So freaking cute. I will not be putting that on until later. I'm just gonna wear this with my spandex shorts and my Charleston Akron tumbling hoodie until um, we actually compete. So it is 1.30 p.m. and we don't compete until 7.30 p.m. I'm just going to go coach my littles and I also have to braid a bunch of my friend's hair. All right, and I am all ready to go. I got my bag, I got my shoes, I got everything and I will see you at the competition. <laughs> we made it to the gym and now I'm about to do Ryan's hair. All right, so I just finished Ryan's hair. LOL, this is how it looks. I ended up looking, how do you like it? Here's Carly's hair. Let me see. It's two braids to four braids. All right, so we just are door dashing Chick fil A. People went to Bojangles without us and they wouldn't buy us food. So Chloe just gave us her phone and we bought Chick fil A. All right, we are about to compete. Right, so so I have to leave you, but we have the final look. One, two, three, big salute. And one, yeah, I love you guys. Two, 